Hello everyone, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get Minecraft mods on a Mac 10.5.x and I have 10.5.8 and doing this has made mods work for me but a lot of you on Macs have been trying to get mods and what will happen is um, you'll open up Minecraft after you've done everything right and then it'll just be a black screen or stuck at downloading and crash, something like that. So here's how to fix that. Go to your finder and go to applications and look for Minecraft. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to open it. So if it's right there, um, then that's good, but if it's not, you're gonna wanna find wherever you store it and put it in here. And then right click on it and click show package contents. Obviously open contents and go to info.plst open with text edit and if this doesn't look like this just go to other and find text edit okay once you open it you'll see all this stuff scroll down until you see right here it'll say jvm version string then 1.5 plus string i've already done it but change this five to a six just like that don't change anything else save it close it up and you're done with that part leave that open and go into here go to Macintosh HD or you know the system go to system then library then find frameworks and go to Java, um, Java VM frame dot framework. Open that up. Go to resources. Scroll down, or actually, yeah, scroll down, and find Mac OS. Then you'll see this Java application stub. You may see others or just this. Just copy it. Um. and paste it over here to where it says Mac OS in your contents of Minecraft Mac OS and paste it in here. Now you may already have it in here obviously I've done this before so I don't need to do it again but um, you know you may already have it in here or whatever just do it so I've done it already and then <clears throat> you're done with that all that stuff now the last thing you need to do, right, so just open up this spotlight thing and search up Java space preferences and you'll see right there. Open it up and it may or may not ask you this, like do you want it to accept incoming network connections, just click deny or allow, it doesn't really matter. And then you'll see these things, these little JSE and Java things with checks. Now, just leave it how it is, exactly how it is, except take the SE6 one right here and move it up to the top. That's all you have to do. The rest of them, you can just leave where they are, just drag this one like this up to the top. And then you're done with that. And if, yeah, so there you go. Now, I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do. And it's not too hard and you won't change anything with your computer other than Minecraft will work now. So I hope this helps and if you have any questions just comment and ask me. And